On Disability Day, we work on appointments. There are some people who are having an appointment for today. They will be assisted. And those people who don't have an appointment, they will be attended to. So that we give you the day. Sometimes sleeping here uh, is of no use. This official from Sasa in Balbo is telling beneficiaries that they should not sleep outside on the pavement. But it is the only way that some people can secure a good spot in the queue and guarantee that they will be assisted. Rafik Peterson has been queuing for his disability grant since 4 a.m. He has epilepsy. I'm wasting my time here for these people. Look, I'm a person, I'm getting sick, I've got those yellow headaches. Every day I'm in my bed, lying all day. But now I'm sacrificed to come stand here now. There's old people standing, people is getting sick. They can't even stand anymore, they must sit on a cold floor. Nokolokile Tanga slept at the Sasa office overnight. She has been here several times since January, but she still hasn't received a disability grant. I'm sleeping here at Sasa outside, like a bechi, because I wanted the grant. Now, from January until now, I didn't have the grant. The disability grant is 1,890 rand a month. If you have a mental or physical disability that prevents you from working, you can apply for the grant. But because hundreds of disability grants lapsed at the end of 2020, the Western Cape has a massive backlog of beneficiaries reapplying for the grant, and queues outside SASA offices are often very long. When it comes to social grants, that's sometimes the only income that they have. Them sleeping there actually helps them secure a place close enough to be helped on that day. And Sasa has quite a bit of, st of staff at the Balvo office. If we look at the number of people that they have to see on a daily basis or just on the day when there's like all of those numbers, they're hardly able to get through all of them. And by the time it closes, a lot of people are inevitably going to be turned away.